guys and welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Deacon and I film beauty videos like this one so today's video is sort of a different one a different vibe I don't really do hairs on my channel but in today's video I decided to show you guys how I revamp my old wig and this wig is about two years old yeah so I'm just gonna show you guys how I revamp it and style it and make it new all the time so yeah without further ado I will stop talking now and show you guys my process So first I do this um, monthly for every of my wig and here this particular wig I was using it at the moment so I'm just showing you guys how I take my wig off. Me before I would just yank it off my head but a friend of mine showed me a better way to take it off which is using rubbing alcohol. I never used to have such patience but it is so important if you want to preserve the life of your wig. It just helps you take it off a lot easier and then it doesn't affect your edges. And um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that. So I'm just taking off the wig from my head carefully. And um, yeah, as you can see, it's dirty. It's not so clean at the moment. So we get into treating. And then the next thing I'm going to be using is um, this herbal essence hair products. It's the avocado oil hair products. And that is their conditioner and their shampoo. And this is um, a shampoo and conditioner I would naturally use for my um natural hair so um yeah i use it for my wigs too because you want to treat your wigs like you would treat your natural hair especially if your wig is a good one of good quality it needs all the care so now i'm just um putting water on my wig and just breaking down the um, glue in front of the wig um yeah in front of the lace so now i'm just going into the lace now with the shampoo carefully rubbing the shampoo throughout the lace because i want to get the glue out first it is important to do this because you don't want to yank off your wig because you're going to have to detangle so if you don't like break down the glue on the wig you could um, rip your hair and you don't want to do that so as you can see here i'm concentrating on the lace first getting out that glue and i would normally use just got to be glue for my wigs i really don't use any other bonding glue um, because of my edges i really don't want to lose my edges so yeah so now i'm just putting shampoo all over the wig now and just combing through with not combing brushing through with a detangling brush of some sort and then i'm just gonna rinse um, the shampoo out now i don't need to completely rinse this before i go into the hair with my conditioner now i'm just going to condition the hair now i don't need to get on the lace with the conditioner this goes to the strands the conditioner focuses on the strands so now from the ends of my hair i'm just going to brush through while i have the conditioner in it because it would then give like an easier glide for the hair and just detangles a lot better that way like you would do your natural hair so yeah um, now this is the hair loss that I have from my wig. This is the only um, shared at the moment. So now I'm then going to go into my cap itself with the shampoo and then now wash my wig cap properly. Now you want to make sure that your wig cap is properly washed because you don't want it to stank. Okay. And um, after this process, I'm just going to rinse, 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 get all the soap out of my wig and you can see the should i say dead level in the water like how dirty the wig was and um, i'm just running the water through very generously making sure that everything is clean and then going through with a detangling brush as well and this was my final loss like for the hair loss this was the final shed that i had and i'm just rinsing and then squeezing out the water carefully now, as you can see, I'm not washing like I would wash clothes. I'm more gentle with my wigs because it's her, you know. And yeah, 
detangling detangling is very important because you would need your hair to be properly detangled for the next process which is styling so now i'm just going to dry this leave it for a few hours for it to completely dry before we go on ahead as you can see my lace is so clean it's important for your lace to be clean so now i got into the styling already didn't realize my camera wasn't recording so sorry about that um i had already done the first line so i just pat the hair into sections line by line and then i work on it and then i pin it to a mannequin head just so i could have like full access to what i'm looking at um, so I could work better that way. So I just take my coiling iron and now I wanted to I wanted some big curls Which was why I use this particular coiling iron and then um, I'm just gonna cut the hair in sessions and just brush through and Then go over with my coiler like you can see in the video and Yeah, I was making big curls like I said because I just wanted some loose curls now you could in this process If you want your hair straight, you could just use a straightener and just straighten your hair if you want it curled in any pattern you could do it at this point like i said this was the style i was going for and yeah i like to style it on a mannequin first because um it just helps me work better with the hair than it would be on my head but if it's just a normal styling day i would then um just go ahead with just um styling you know um without using the mannequin i would just put it on my head so for the front now i'm going to just go over with um a small comb just take it in sessions put my wax on the hair and then just um, brush through now why you're doing this is because you need the lace pads to be laid so for it to be properly laid you would need support from a wax um of some sort and then your um, hot comb is very important if you want to be styling your wigs well you need some hair tools um, a hot comb is non-negotiable when it has to do with your wig because you want it laid properly if not you're just going to look like you have a helmet on your head and you don't need it you don't want to look like that a hot comb makes all the difference so after i do um, the front with the hot comb i'm just gonna go over section by section and keep coiling as well um, since that was the original plan, we're going to make sure that we call everything. So I'm just showing you guys what I do here. Also, for your hair tools, you would need to invest in some good ones if you want to, you know, enjoy the process of doing your hair and also have your appliances last you a long time. So yeah, here I'm using the Remington um, hair coiler and this is so good. The heat level is great. And now I'm done coiling my hair. I'm just going to take um, it off the mannequin. And this is what my curls look like. And then since I'm not ready to start it yet on my head, I'm just going to store it away in a storage bag until I am ready to style my hair. And now the time comes to style my hair and then I'm just putting on a wig cap and this is my hair so you guys remember that I stored away in a plastic bag. And now for my edges, now my cornrows are about a month old so you know off brand but we moved. So I'm just gonna um, lay my edges to the back um, just to have like a smooth, um, should I say surface to work with. And then I'm going to just use a brush comb to just brush it down just so it lays a lot better. And then I'm going to pull my wig cap to the front and then slightly pull it backward to just grip my hair in the front. And then now we go on my head with the wig and I'm just going to put that on and just, um, you know, just sit it on my head the way that it should. Just take time to arrange the front, that is really important. And then I'm just um, taking the hair out of my way just so I could have um, space enough to lay my edges. Now with a got to be glue, also um, a band and a small comb and a hair dryer. I'm just going to bring out the hair in front. Now, note that this is a hair I've had for a long time already. So, I have some baby hairs that I've already brought. And now, you guys, please don't mind the wig. Um, I over bleached it. Okay, I didn't. The person that did the wig for me over bleached it in a way. So, yeah, but it's okay. 
now i'm just um using an edge brush and just creating some edges now i'm not the best when it comes to edges it's just i just do like a rough work and for me edges don't have to be so perfect um as long as they look okay i'm good to go so i'm just gonna try to lay my edges as much as i can And then after I lay my edges on both sides, I'm just going to go over the front of my wig with a got to be glue. And then with my band, I'm just going to tie that down and secure it properly. Now with a hairdryer, I'm just going to blow dry the front a little on cool heat um, to just dry it down a bit. Then with my um, tail comb, I'm just going to pat the front properly. Now I'm still going to go in with my wax again to just make sure that i have a very flat you know um top you know i said we don't want it to look like we have a helmet on so you have to get it as flat as possible now with my hot comb i'm just gonna comb through and make sure that i lay it well now the heat on the hot comb and then the wax helps to just melt your hair down and just keep it flatter I'm not an expert when it comes to these things, but you guys would say that, you know, I do an okay job. <laughs> so now I'm just fluffing out my hair with my hands. And now with a white tooth comb, I'm just going to separate my curls. Now, sometimes I don't comb through with a comb. I just use my hands to just fluff my curls. Now I'm taking off my hairband and this is what my hair looks like. And now I could go like this. It looks almost okay already. But then I just want to style it a bit more. I'm going for this new trendy style that you bring out some, you know, coily part in the front and then, you know, the vibe. So that's what I'm trying to do for this particular look today. So I'm just going to take out some hair on both sides of my face and then I'm going to slick the rest back um, with a brush just to make sure it's smoother. Now, it doesn't need to be perfect. Sometimes when your hair looks like it's a bit of a messy situation going on, it looks more natural and nice as long as it doesn't look, um, you know, too messy. So yeah, I'm just sticking the hair out, clipping it at the back just to get it out of the way. And then I'm going to curl the front to just give me that um, coily effect in the front. Now you could make your curls smaller or bigger, that depends on what you want. You could even make it double curls or you could, you know, make it really tiny curls. Just depends on what you're going for. Now this is what mine looks like with the curling iron that I'm using. I have another one um, if I want my curls to look, you know, smaller. Now I'm blowing you guys a kiss because I was in the mood to. So yeah, I've gotten the curls on both sides of my face, easy peasy. Now I'm just using the same um, iron and just, you know, laying my hair down the front because you're coiling it, it's going to stand in a weird way. So you want to use that um, iron, the hot iron to just press it down a bit and just make it relax. And this is what we look like. We are done with our hair, you know. This was the style, very simple, very easy. You could see how I took an old wig and then I just made it look new again. And voila, we are done. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope that before you toss your wig, you would reconsider and see if you can revamp it like I've shown you in this video. Please thumbs up this video to let YouTube know that you like my content and also subscribe to my channel if you're not. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Love you.